Hey, what's up everybody? St. R. Edwards here. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. This is going to be a very short video. All we're going to do in this video is add a navigation controller to our first view on our screen. And we're also going to add the prepare for segue method in the view controller. All right, so go ahead and open up your project and we're going to get started. Okay, so adding the navigation controller. So we're gonna click on this top bar, which represents the view controller. We're gonna make sure it's highlighted, it turned blue, the view controller. And we're gonna go up here to our, to our top toolbar, and we're gonna to click on editor, and we're going to go to embed in navigation controller. All right, easy as that. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on our navigation bar on our first view. And we're going to add a title and we can just say login or whatever you want. We'll say login. And then for the large title that says automatic, we're going to go always. So prefer large title. Got that. And then over here in the actual navigation controllers navigation bar, we're going to click on that, highlight that. And in the attributes inspector for this, we're going to select prefers large titles. All right, got that. Bam. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add uh, the prepare for segue method. So let's do that. So from our user name um, text field, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to click on it. We're going to open up the assistant editor by, by hitting the intertwined circles. Make some space in your view controller. And you can either do it from the document outline or the text field itself. This time I'm going to go from the document outline. I'm going to control, click, and drag my blue line to the view controller and release about right there. And I'm going to call this username text field, something very descriptive. Makes sense. Hit enter. All right, I'm going to close out of that. And then I'm gonna go over to my view controller. I'm gonna go over to my view controller and I am, first of all, I'm gonna get rid of this prepare or the uh, did receive memory warning, get rid of that. And then below the override view did load method, I'm gonna hit prepare for segue. There we go, it popped up finally. Let it auto complete for you, it's easier that way. And in our prepare for segue method, this is what we wanna do. So all we wanna do is make sure that the text that we type in the username text field, that it displays in the, in the text field bar on our, or in a title bar, I should say, on our second view controller. So this is what we're gonna do. So we're going to say um, segue dot destination. Come on now. There we go. Dot navigation item dot title equals username text field dot text. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command Save or Command S on that so it'll save. And then I want to build and run my app and we're gonna see if this works. So go ahead, go ahead and hit Command R on your keyboard to run your app quickly or you can just hit the play button and let's see if that worked out for us. All right, it's finally popping up for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and type and something in the username text field bar here. So let's say I'm gonna type in something I've been thinking about, victory lap. I'm gonna hit the login button and hopefully, 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 once I hit this login button, the navigation title on our next screen on, for me, the pink view controller or the pink view, it'll pop up, let's see. All right, it worked, that's what we wanted to do. So that is all for this lesson, guys. Stay tuned for the next. 
where we're going to finish up the lab for this section. This is St. R. Edwards with Swift Coding for Everyone. Thank you guys for joining me. Take care.